All right, I wanted to show you guys my little uh, crystal glue cell electric uh, things lighting something useful, and it won't light very long. I'm using a it's the two LEDs uh, Walmart light thing. Uh, it runs on a double or actually a triple A battery, and it has a Julfi circuit in it, so. Uh, it won't very, it won't light very f uh, long because it'll drain this capacitor quickly too. Um, it's a, I think it's a 22,000 microfarad capacitor. But what I've done is I uh, put a bunch of the glue cells in series. I'm um, sorry I can't show them all, but here's one of them. And they're all hooked in series. I even got one. I even got the big one in there too. Um, just so I could charge this capacitor up and show you that you have to. Uh, since it's purely voltage, you can't just run an LED directly off of it. You kind of have to hook it up to a capacitor and let the cells charge the capacitor. I just I just wanted to demonstrate that for you guys. They like I said, they won't lie very long. So here we go. Let's see if I can get this all in one frame without messing it up. There we go. And we'll hook it up. And that's it. And that was purely the energy that came from those uh, glue crystal cell electrodes. Like I said, you must hook them up to a capacitor in order to uh, transform the energy. Because it is mostly purely voltage. And that's, uh, it's, that's what it is. And being purely voltage is a gr actually a great thing. These cells should last for a really long time. Just hook them up, hook a bunch of them up to a capacitor, and there you go. Convert the energy. The capacitor does the converting for you because just like the uh, cells themselves, they're uh, dielectric material too. So uh, it's like uh, it's like a circle. Um, it's allowing the energy to flow in. And I have seen where, uh, let's say, a cell that produces 500 millivolts hook up to a capacitor that's been shorted out for 12 hours or so and it's, and it bounced up to like 12 millivolts or something like that any random number doesn't matter and that cell up which is exactly at 500 millivolts will charge that capacitor up to uh... Let's, something higher like 550 or 600 millivolts i have seen that before uh... It's, that is very unique how that works and i don't understand how that works it's interesting to see uh, uh cells only producing 500 millivolts charge something up to like 600 millivolts where the extra 100 millivolts come from I'm not quite sure but also I wanted to point out to you guys uh, one of my other ideas let me get this out of the way um, what, I can, what I can do with these batteries or not batteries with these cells well I got one of these batteries right here from actually that light I showed you um, I'm going to show you what I've been thinking about here. I just want to show you guys the voltage, initial voltage. This battery has not been used all day, so it's got a good standing voltage in it. We're going to just hook it up to the meter. And we are, let's see, at 1.601 volts. So, for that, just remember that number. Alright. Let me grab one of these cells. Oh, I just grabbed the cell. I really don't know what this cell has in it. Uh, 0.593. Alright. So we got about 1.6. Is, uh, zero one in the battery. Get that all situated. And this is what I've been thinking about. Over there, hooking the battery in series with the cell. Remember, we have one point six. Now we have two point nine two nine one. You can see where I'm going with this. Putting it in a series with the um, battery really boosts the voltage. 
then you use that boosted voltage to uh, charge a like a capacitor. So that, that's very interesting to note too. Um, that's just one of my ideas I'm working with right now. But yeah, there you have it, guys. You can just have it kind of a charge a capacitor and take that capacitor and dump. Or, or use a jewel thief actually you could use a jewel thief and use that jewel thief to dump that power or excess power into another circuit or no, another battery to have that charge it is and there's endless possibilities really uh, that's just one of the ideas I'm floating around with. so there you have it guys something at least practical to show you